Hello learners of class 10. Welcome to the wonderful world of English language classroom. Learners, how are you all? I know that we are in the middle of the academic year with all problems. You have been doing well. So, today learners, let us look at a poem from your textbook First Flight Lesson 6. The title of the poem is Animals. Learners, what comes to your mind when you think of animals? What is special about animals? We have pet animals at home, we see stray dogs, stray animals also and we see animals in the forest, in the jungles, in the zoos, many many places. What comes to your mind when you think of an animal? For example, let us say pet animals we know dog, cat, many many things uh, and the wild animals like uh, tiger, ferocious tiger, lion and peaceful uh, animals like deer or elephant, cow, buffaloes. What do you think? Take a minute to think about it and list out at least two, three aspects which you feel about animals. So, let me also do uh, think about animals. In the meanwhile, watch the animals images appear on your screen. Each animal has a quality, we know that, but at the same time each animal does what it is supposed to do, we assume them as qualities and characteristics to do. This is what the poem is about, what animals do, do not do and what humans, the poet is not saying what humans do or do not do, he only says that I would like to live with animals for these reasons 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 because they do not do this which he is not telling us, but fe makes us feel that we do. That is what the poet is Watt Whitman, the famous American romantic poet who lived in 19th century and almost 200 years ago uh, he was born. We, we need to know a bit about Watt Whitman, we will discuss later, but initially he was like the romantic poets of England, Wordsworth, Sally, Keats. He sang about, wrote about common man, our feelings, our sufferings. So, that is what he now writes about animals, their qualities. So, you must have listed some of the qualities of animals. Take a look at them and read to yourself and what makes you feel the animals are special. Now, let us read through the poem animals. Just listen to it and follow the lines which appear. Animals, what Whitman? I think I could turn and live with animals. They are so placid and self-contained. I stand and look at them long and long. They do not sweat and whine about their condition. They do not lie awake in the dark and weep for their sins. They do not make me sick discussing their duty to God. Not one is dissatisfied. Not one is demented with the many of warning things. Not one kneels to another, not to his kind that lived thousands of years ago. Not one is respectable or unhappy over the whole earth. So they show their relations to me and I accept them. They bring me tokens of myself. They evince them plainly in their possession. I wonder where they got those tokens. Did I pass that way huge times ago and negligently drop them? Learners, this is the poem about. Very simple. Here is a poet for you, Watt Whitman, except two or three words which may appear to appear to us slightly not familiar. All other words are simply familiar. Let me read out to you again the poem so that you get the meaning. The poet wants to live with animals. He tells the reasons for why he wants to live with animals. So, Let us take a look at the poem again. I think I could turn and live with animals. They are so placid and self-contained. 
I stand and look at them long and long. They do not sweat and whine about their condition. They do not lie awake in the dark and weep for the sins. They do not make me sick discussing their duty to God. Not one is dissatisfied, not one is demented with the many of owning things. Not one kneels to another, not to his kind that lived thousands of years ago. Not one that is respectable or unhappy over the whole earth. So they show their relations to me and I accept them. They bring me tokens of myself. They evince them plainly in their possession. I wonder where they got those tokens. Did I pass that way huge times ago and negligently drop them? Learners, it's very simple I said, but it has greater meaning. The most familiar animals to us are dog, cat, cow, buffalo and goat. These are the um, most domesticated animals. Let us take any one of them and think about what they do to themselves, what they do to ourselves. How do they manage their hunger? How do they manage their suffering? You must have noticed most animals when they are not feeling keeping well, when they are sick, they simply keep themselves aloof. Whereas what we humans do, when we are not sick, we want somebody to be there with us, to take care of them. So, the maybe self-isolation quarantine uh, uh, is better with animals than humans. So, they do not want to spread in a way. There are many such things about animals. Now, let us take the poem part by part, then we do some activity, so that we will better understand. Let us take the first four lines, look at the lines there before you. I think I could turn and live with animals. They are so placid and self-contained. I need not explain. I am not here to explain line by line. So, he poet feels that let me take a turn and go to animals and live with them. They are well placed, contextualized, situated and self-contained. They eat whatever available to them. They do not order online something pizza, something to eat. You know that. They eat whatever available to them. They are self-satisfied. And the poet looks at the animals and says, I stand and look at them long and long. You must have also noticed uh, learners, when you look at an animal, even bird, you, you are attracted to it and you keep looking at oh, how it moves, how it walks, particularly birds and animals uh, and you keep watching them. And the poet says, why I want to live with animals? They do not sweat and whine about their condition. You know, uh, children, learners, you must have noticed almost every one of us blame our conditions. Oh, I should have been much richer. I should have lived uh, born in a city. I should have gone to a better school. And there were times even people think that I should have had better parents. This one. And we also think ourselves, I should, I should have been uh, better in doing my activities. So, but no animal makes fuss about it, gr grumbles or groans, groans means regret, regretfully uh, murmuring, no? uh, the, oh, um, I say any, uh, it should not have happened to me, I should, it should not have been, no animal does. So, they do not sweat and whine about their condition, they are happy about their condition. I am a tiger, I, am, I enjoy being a tiger, I am a cat, I am fine. You know that ca cat is one of the very, very, you know, hygienic um, animals. Uh, you know that uh, uh, he, he it ducks uh, this one no? mm. the ground then only it uh, uh, does its uh, excreta and closes it and comes and each animal has uh, and dog can actually show uh, the kind of affection no no other human even can show it so they don't bother about their bad condition or good condition they live objectively neutrally as they are look at the next line they do not lie awake in the dog and weep for their sins. Suppose, for example, uh, we have done something wrong, then what we do when we are alone, we regret and cry, oh God, I should not have done this, uh, let, let God forgive me. So, we regret, groan ourselves, because animals do not have any religion, we do not know whether they believe, whether they can think, those sins they cannot think, they cannot have a faith. So, we have, we have faith and we commit sins, 
we commit mistakes errors then later regret about it even if the animal kills another animal for food or safety it would never regret whereas we unnecessarily kill animals do many many things and in the name of war and aggression we kill people and we later regret it should not have happened we know that learners you have read nelson mandela and second world war uh, crimes and later the world regretted and even today some countries are fighting war without meaning why we have a war so animals are better placed look at it this is what the first part second part what do animals do they do not make me sick discussing their duty to god what we do oh i have not done my duty to god we also regret when we pray to god and most of us uh, what what do we pray we are asking for some personal gains i have done hard work god so please make me get this give me this if you are appearing in examination i must get 90% if you are appearing neat exam i must clear it if some politician is fighting an election I, he will go to god and pray oh i must win with a huge majority then business people we know that uh, even isro uh, is sending its uh, racket uh, what's it model replica to tripadi balaji to make science successful so we we pray to god fearing something if you don't do that something might happen but animals don't do they do not make me sick discussing their duty to god they don't oh uh, i have neglected my duty to god i didn't pray there is nothing like that and look at the second thing next thing the poet says no one is dissatisfied not one is demented about the many of owning things so one thing uh, learners suppose uh, uh, this owning things no possession of things money house property it can never be satisfied if the person is very greedy suppose you you are hungry you like a particular uh, food item dish very much you keep eating it after some time you are satisfied then even more you eat then at one point of time you will say no i don't i don't want any more but if a greedy person or over ambitious person you give whatever the property 100 crores he would like to make more money that's what is happening uh, with some of the richest people on on earth uh, and when the poor people don't have things and the rich people uh, some rich people want to have more and more things so but animals no one is dissatisfied not one is demented with the many many of many owning things they don't have the mania is what mania is a kind of disease kleptomania is uh, uh, instinctively someone is uh, inclined to stealing things so kind like some phobia so this is mania a mania is a dangerous thing many people have that mania of owning things animals don't have that no one kneels this is still better still serious no one kneels to another not to his kind that lived thousands of years ago no animal will kneel down before any animal I, as far as i know it, the dog only goes and uh, stands near and a kind of kneeling down before its uh, master means uh, its its owner uh, as a mark of love and affection not out of fear but look at humans we kneel down and what we did the way we kneel down it happened it happened thousands of years ago but no animal does kneeling down before anybody and no animal does what was what its ancestors were doing thousands of years ago look at the way humans do we were slaves once upon a time slavery was accepted then the slaves were to bow before the masters but do we do some of us do so animals do naturally their own instinct but humans have something else to do and which is not actually normal to any animal then look at it not one is respectable or unhappy over the whole earth see no animal feels that the world is full of nonsense uh, full of lies full of sufferings does any animal say that but we humans say that so they are they are not neither neither happy nor unhappy they are respectable they don't say that the world is full of good things they will Uh, also not say oh no no the, wo- the world is full of ha- unhappy things bad things but they feel fine with the world whatever the world it comes to them look at the last section so because they don't they are neutral and objective they live their own life look at it 
so they show their relations to, to me and I accept them. They show their relations to me that me here is the whole humanity and we accept it as they are animals. But do we behave as humans, as animals? We do not know. But what do they do? What, what more animals do? They bring me tokens of myself. They evince them blindly in their possession. So, each animal carries a token. What is the token? I am a tiger. I behave, I am, I behave like a tiger. I am a cat. I behave like a cat. Uh, I behave a cat. I am a cow. So, I am a cow and I am a dog. I am a dog. But learners, do we humans behave as humans always? Sometimes we behave like animals, ferocious, ungrateful animals, savages animals, cruel animals. Sometimes we feel like saintly when we preach peace, we forgive people. But why is that difference? So, the, he says, they bring tokens of myself, they live what they are, they evince them. They, not only that, they simply tell me, hey, we are animals, we behave this way, we are natural, we are neutral, objective, we do not make money, we do not gather uh, things, materials, we, we do not want things, we are free, we are owned by others and they do not bother about their possessions. They have that token, means tiger is a tiger, dog is a dog, like that. But they gave me those tokens. What the poet says, long ago the animals gave tokens to humans, be natural, be yourself. And from where they get the tokens, I do not know, they got the tokens, from where that instinct comes to be natural, objective. But I got it, but I left it somewhere, I do not know where it was. How did I lose? Did I pass that way huge times ago? Long, long ago I have forgotten when the when I got the senses to be a rational, civilized human being or I negligently dropped it somewhere. I, I was really negligent. I could not keep that tokens of myself, so I lost myself. Learners, this is a kind of paraphrasing or summarizing interpretation of the poem, you may interpret many ways. Please read the poem more than once to understand it. Look at the word demented means blaming, regretting. Look at it. No, not one is dissatisfied, not one is demented with the many of morning things. So, we have learnt what animals do not do. Thereby, we have also learnt what humans do, which are actually not human. That is very interesting. Let me also take a, a, a minute to talk about the poet What Whitman. This poem is taken from his famous celebrated writing, Leaves of Grass. Learners, we know that nobody is bothered much about grass, but Grass is essential for our survival, earth survival. Grass was the first thing most likely must have emerged when the, the earth was evolving. If you believe in evolution theory, that is scientifically uh, proven so. Uh, so, grass came up and now we do not bother except for cutting it and feeding or grazing the animals. But here is a poet who celebrates the grass. Is that leaves of grass in which this poem is part of song of myself. So, what Whitman lived in 19th century I said, he lived through the racial discrimination, Abraham Lincoln's life in USA, then Abraham Lincoln was assassinated, he wrote a poem, O Captain, My Captain, means America was without uh, a captain, that was the meaning. Then he, being a romantic poet, he wrote about nature, life, poor people, common people. You know that Wordsworth, Sully, Keats, the famous romantic Coleridge uh, poets of England, uh, they also wrote about common man. The poetry moved from king's courts and palaces to society, roads, villages. This is what the poem is about. Learners, here is an activity for you. 
the table shows what animals do and the other side humans. I only want you to list what animals do as the poet describes. One thing you must have noticed learners, the poet says what animals do not do. They say they do not sweat and whine about their condition, they do not lie awake in the dark praying for their sins means forgiving the sins they committed. They do not make me sick discussing the duty to God. So, why he says I do not know the why the poet has listed what the animals do not do. He should have said animals are happy, animals do not pray to God uh, 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 regretting their uh, sins they committed, but they never say he says animals do not do this, do not do this, do not do this meaning what we do this. Look at it, I am going to list out for you some of them remaining you can complete yourself uh, in your notebook or anywhere you want. Look at it, they do not sweat and whine about their con conditions means I am writing animals do not complain or groan means murmuring regretfully g r o a n groan about their condition. That means what? What do humans do? We complain about our conditions. If I am poor, oh, why I am poor? I should have been rich. If I am rich, I should have been further rich. If I am uh, studying in English medium school, uh, I feel, oh, children in the um, learners, my counterparts in the other school, village school in non-English medium are better off maybe. Then non-English medium students will feel, oh, I should have been studying in English medium school. A villager would think, oh, I should be in a city to make my life more comfortable. Uh, yet city person who, is, who lives in a polluted congested atmosphere will feel, oh, villages are better. So, meaning we keep complaining about our condition, that is first thing. Second thing, they do not lie awake in the dark regretting their sins and discussing their duty to God. So, two things one is do, do not re regret the sins they committed, I am putting it short, they, the animals do not regret the sins they committed because they do not commit sins in a way, they live like animals. But and also they said, oh, I, I have not done my duty to God by taking care of my parents or not taking care of my parents. I have not gone to temple many a time, mosque or church. So, they do not bother about duty to God. Means, even though we pray to God, we feel that we are not truthful to God. So, that is one thing. What about humans? We regret that. Okay. Then look at it, no animal is dissatisfied. They may be sad, they may be suffering from a particular wound, injury or disease or uh, lack of food, but they are not dissatisfied because they, they, they are not dissatisfied, not dissatisfied. So, that means they are satisfied, if not satisfied they are not at least dissatisfied, then what about you are dissatisfied about what? The are demented about the many of owning things, they do not want to own things, they do not regret, they do not grumble, they do not complain about that. Whereas, humans we complain about oh I want to have more. The most important thing let us let, look at the next line, no one kneels to another not to his kind that lived thousands of years ago. See, they do not kneel down at all, very, very interesting thing. They do not kneel down. You know that we kneel, kneel down before elders, many, many people, because that means we do not submit to the powerful person, animals, but we do that, we do that. The way we behave in public to the political leadership or the uh, bureaucratic official hierarchy, so, we are scared of them, but animals do not. Then, they are neither happy nor unhappy, 
about the whole earth. That means, they are neutral, they are not, not unhappy about the earth, neither they are very happy about the earth, they are neutral about it. So, whereas, what about humans? We are regretting, regretting, there is there is a thing, you know, uh, um, we keep groaning, groaning means within ourselves we, we murmur oh, why it happens, how it happens, but animals do not do that. This is what a small activity learners, you try and list out many more things and let us now move on to some discussions uh, on, on, the, on the poem uh, with some questions, I am not going to answer them, maybe some clues, you will have to do it. Why does the poet want to live with animals? I am living to you because animals are satisfied, animals are truthful, then fine. Next one, does the poet think that the animals are happy? I am living to you and, but I am asking a provoking question, do animals know that they are happy? They do not know, that is why they are happy, whereas we humans know that whether we are happy or unhappy. Third, what does the poet mean to say? no one kneels to another. I said, no animal touches the feet of other animal. The way humans then did thousands of years ago was when slavery was in practice, racial discrimination, we, we lived like savages. Even today, we have that feeling. So, then look at the fourth one, no one is respectable or unhappy over the whole earth. You are young children, 13, 14 years old. How do you, what do you think about the earth? Leave alone this pandemic situation. Otherwise, you must be happy about it. A great uh, new world is, is before you. You have to pursue your career, studies, many, many things. But still you regret with the, all your support from parents. But animals do not do that. So, how? No one is respectable or unhappy over the whole earth. Why? Think about it, why animals are neither happy seriously nor unhappy about it. Learners, that is what the poem about animals. Please read 2-3 times, then do the activities we have done and you can go to the book and QR code and listen to the audio text of the poem. That would be fine, better than my reading. Then here are 2 things as follow up work for you, not homework, read the poem at least 2-3 times and write the ideas the poet describes about animals. Read the poem at least 2 or 3 times, write the ideas the poet writes about animals, fine. Second one, why do not you try a poem in your language, Hindi, Tamil, Malayalam, any, anything, Assamia, Bengali, any language you know, try. 5, 6 lines or 10 lines about animals or just trying to imitate this poet, what Whitman translate and display in our classroom notice board, show to a teacher, that is what a poet is made. Learners, thank you very much, thank you for patient listening and discussing the poem. Uh, we will meet in the next lesson, till then, thank you, bye bye.